And in this video, I'm going to show you what I do when I have to leave my house in the evening and all I really want to do is go to bed. That's what's happening tonight. <laughs> so I decided to do kind of like a chatty get ready with me routine. I just got home from set and Mike and I are going out tonight and my makeup's looking pretty rough. Oh, well, I mean like, I feel like most of it's not even really there anymore. But we have to go out tonight. So I'm going to start with my Baby Ganix wipes. Only because I don't feel like washing my face because I can't find a hair tie because my life is chaos. I don't know. Reveal my true self. Look at this. When I pull, I have like a dimple here from a zit that I had like three months ago that apparently scarred. Because this is my new life where I turned 30 and got acne. I should probably set a timer. Let's do 35 minutes and uh, see how far that gets us. All right, now I look the way I feel. The first thing I'm gonna do is use a mask. Wouldn't it be nice if I could just like put a mask on instead of makeup? Um, but no, I'm using Bombi Fruitables Orange Squeeze Energizing Mask. I have fluff. Um, so this has papaya, orange, some other stuff, and I'm gonna put this on my skin and hope that nothing bad happens. Get my hair out of the way. <laughs> I feel slimy now, but it sure does smell good. 10 to 20 minutes. So let's give this 10 minutes. Let's see how it does. Alright, so while this is working its magic on my face, I'm going to get started on my hair. I'm using my Amica Curl Core Defining Cream, and we'll see how this goes. I haven't used this one in a while. There we go. I'm just going to start with a little bit. Hopefully, that can sort out this situation. It's gotten real frizzy throughout the day. And honestly, this morning, I had a pretty early call time, so I didn't do a lot with my hair, and then not much happened with it on set. Some hairstylists on set are really great about curly hair, and some of them are like, it's so pretty, I'm not gonna touch it at all. And then it just gets like bigger and frizzier throughout the day, and I'm like, it feels like a leave-in conditioner. So I was honestly like contemplating making all of my makeup videos this format where I'm like talking to you while I'm doing it. This is sliding down my face. Instead of <laughs> doing the tutorial and then doing voiceover after the fact when I'm editing. One, because this is easier and I'm a busy woman. Two, because I do voiceover for work sometimes and I don't know, YouTube is my hobby, like, I'd rather not do work stuff for my hobby, if that makes sense. What do you think? What do you think? Also, what do you think about the fact that I have been walking around with one nail shorter than all the rest for a week and have not rectified the situation? I do not think very highly of that myself. I'm gonna handle some email real quick, like. Okay, it has been about 10 minutes. <laughs> This actually does feel good on my skin, and it did kind of like wake my skin up a little bit. I don't really want to wash it off though, so I'm wondering if I can get it to absorb into my skin. Oh, my poor skin. Look at this, you guys. This is all like hormonal acne right here. And what sucks about it is, like I can treat the breakouts as they happen, and that goes well, but like the reason it's happening is because my hormones are still like leveling out after changing and <sighs> like I went through this after my tumor surgery because they took out my right adrenal with the tumor so like you lose part of your endocrine system of course things are gonna be crazy um, but it leveled out after like five months with that and it wasn't even as bad as this is 
and now <laughs> like I've been off of birth control for almost six months I think and my skin is just now barely starting to calm down a little bit not even completely it's it's been brutal I just saw a bird fly by the window and it was like gliding and I thought it was a missile that's not a sign that the populace feels safe and secure. I don't know what is. I'm using Instant Natural Age Defying and Skin Clearing Toner. I'm just kind of putting that on over that serum that I just rubbed into my skin. And then I'm going to use Instant Natural Age Defying and Skin Clearing Serum. It has vitamin C, retinol, niacinamide, and tea tree oil. And. I'm just gonna do it right there. I usually use this in the problem areas, but uh, lately my whole face is the problem area. Oh, what is that? And last, I'm going to use my Instant Natural Age Defying Skin Clearing Moisturizer. This has all the stuff the serum has, plus a little bit of salicylic acid. You know, <laughs> just burn it off. You guys don't usually get the sound effects of what. This is like when I put stuff on. Okay, the sun is setting so I can skip the sunscreen because I'm not going to make it outside before the sun is completely gone. Next, I'm going to use my YSL All Hours Concealer. I think I'm almost out of this, but the packaging makes it a little bit hard to tell. Oh, and by the way, some of the products in this video were gifted to me by various companies, but I'll never show you stuff that I don't actually use or like. Or, you know, I might use it in a video and then just tell you that I don't like it, but so far, that hasn't really been the case very many times. I have a zit, like, between my lip and my nose, and it, it hurts because it moves when I talk. Not my favorite. Not at all. Next, I'm just going to use a little bit of this Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder from Becca. And this stuff's really nice. It's light, it feels cool on the skin. Less so now that I've been using it for a few weeks. Um, when I first got it, it really felt very cold every time I used it. And now, not quite as much, but it's still there. And I'm putting more than is what's gonna stay on, probably. Because when I go to add my foundation, I am going over the same areas with a brush. So it knocks off a little bit of this and probably blend some of it in with my foundation. For foundation, I'm using my Arbonne Got You Covered Mineral Powder Foundation. I just have a tiny bit of this left, but I hate wasting products. I don't like to waste food, I don't like to waste products, like, not my thing. I mean, if you're fine with that, you do you. Go right ahead and waste some products while you kill the earth. So I'm kind of patting this over the areas where I already have my setting powder and concealer, and then I'm buffing it in pretty much everywhere else. And this is about as close as I get to concealing my acne while I have it, because I don't really use full coverage products. I think they feel gross on the skin, and I don't like the way they look, and I'm very expressive, and when you're very expressive, your face gets wrinkles in it, where your product is being moved and stuff. Why do the helicopters have to fly directly over my apartment? Bye. <sighs> and then for bronzer, I'm using my, also from Becca, Bali Sands Sunlit Bronzer. And I like this stuff. I think it's the palest shade that they make. And it's a little bit, it's a little bit yellow like my skin tone. I have yellow undertones. Um, but it's not so yellow that it makes me look orange. And I just do a little bit up around my hairline and my temples. And then underneath my cheekbones and under my chin. And honestly, I have a couple lines on my face from sleeping on my face when I took a power nap because... I cannot rally and go out without taking a nap, you guys. I am aged. I finally used up that whole product, yay! That doesn't happen very often around here. Because I also use products sparingly. 
if you've been poor at any point in your life, like, you get this complex and it's good because it's saving the planet, but it can complicate things. Next, I am going to use my Deck of Scarlet number four. I'm not going to use the lipsticks. I'm going to dip into that blush. It's a little bit more of a brick color than anything else I have. I'm just going to use my bronzer brush because life's short. All right. And I always do this a little bit rosier than what I want because for whatever reason, in the time it takes me to get out the door, it fades. I don't, I don't know why. It's a thing for me, maybe because I move around so much, who knows. Next I'm going to use my brow bar to go from Gerard Cosmetics. This is the blonde to light brown palette. You know, I'm not a big fan of Instagram brows. Like, I think they are distracting. And I think <laughs> the purpose of makeup in your eyebrows is to frame your eyes. Your eyes are the window to the soul. The eyes are the window to the soul. The eyebrows... I don't know. What do the eyebrows even do? Next, I'm using this new palette that I just got. It is the Curator Eye Palette. I think the color palette in this one is called Soul, and this is from Undone Beauty, or maybe it's True Fragrance and Beauty. It's kind of got two brand names on it, but I really like how they package these. It's kind of cool how the colors just go one into the other. I'm gonna dip into this gold shade and I'm also gonna mix that a little bit with this kind of champagne color just to lighten it up a smidge. A skosh. A tad. So I'm just very lightly dabbing it on. I am liking this. So I'm gonna take some of this green and start working this into the outer V. I'm just going to dab it first to get the pigment on there, and then I'll blend a little. And I'm going to blend that right up to the brow. Then I'm taking a small pointed brush, and I'm dipping back into that champagne color and a little bit more of the copper or bronze. And I'm putting a pop of that champagne color on the inner corner. Then I'll take my foundation brush and just kind of brush away any sparkles that fell down. Next, oh, <laughs> time's up, time's up. Well, Mike isn't here, so whatever. I'm gonna use my felt tip eyeliner pen that Chella Cosmetics gave me. And you know me, I need to do both eyes at the same time or they are not turning out symmetrical. Not by a long shot. I also have these points on each one of my eyelids where if you touch it, the eye is closing. Doesn't matter if I'm doing it, someone else is doing it, I can see it coming. Nothing is going to stop that eye from closing. Oh, there it is. So I just kind of hang close to the lash line and go slowly. And then when I touch it, my eyelid will force the product <laughs> down onto my eyeball instead of up onto my eyelid. All right, looks pretty close to even. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of a wing and I like to follow the line of my lower eyelid when I do a little smidge of a wing. Like that. Oh, that one looks ridiculous. Better make this one ridiculous to match. Woo! Next, I'm going to use a nude eyeliner. And it is CO5 Nude. And I just do this because I am so tired. It's going to brighten up this waterline, take away the redness of the day's fatigue. Make you feel less empty inside. And I'll curl my lashes with this eyelash curler that I have had forever. Honestly, it was my mom's. I think it's like older than I am. For lips, I'm using my Bella C Cosmetics Vinyl Lip Lacquer in the color Love Fest. I 
I like just completing a look with perfume. I don't know, it just makes it feel more special. And today I'm using my YSL Montpellier that they sent to me. And it, look at the bottle, you guys. It's so cute. I love it. It's a little bit spicy, which I like. And it's sexy. I love a sexy perfume. And lately, I have been putting on my perfume before I put on my mascara. I had an unfortunate incident. Don't want to get into it. Um, but I'm using the Shock Mascara from YSL. Why do companies make fluffy mascara wands? Why? They grab too much product, you spend all this time brushing off the product, and you can't ever press hard enough to get these bristles in between your eyelashes because then you're just going to push your eyelashes back onto your eyelid. What is the point? Who are you kidding? Mm, the final look. And I do just a little bit on my lower eyelashes, just the outer corners. There you go. I smell good. I feel better. My skin actually looks a lot better. I think doing the face mask is worth the extra 10 minutes and that is just going to plump up the skin and make everything go on smoother and I think it worked this time. So that's the finished look and eventually my husband will arrive home and we'll go somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this one, let me know in the comments below. If you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell next to it so you get updates when I post new videos. Follow me on social media at Katrina Austin. Check out my podcast, which has its own YouTube channel now, which I will link below. And if you enjoy this video, please click the like button. It really helps my videos get seen.